Gary Locke was back from injury for Kilmarnock but had to settle for a place in the bench. The big blow for Jim Jeffries was the loss of Alan Johnson. Colin Nace continued in place of Chris Boyd. Gary O'Connor's absence was a big problem for Tony Mowbray. The bright young guns of Hibs lined up against the more pragmatic yet no less competent Kilmarnock and having seen off those equally precocious youngsters of Motherwell in midweek, the home side was hoping for more of the same. However much Mowbray might have been impressed with the start, he watched his side commit defensive suicide. Nish gifted the chance to reprise his goal-scoring act of midweek. He did so with all the confidence of a goal-scorer on form. Simon Brown left on the seat of his pants as Nish further staked his claim. But with Boyd and now Nish scoring goals, Craig Dargo picked the perfect time to hit his first of the season. A timely reminder to the boss that he too can finish. And for Killy, the insurance policy of a two-goal cushion. Two minutes later, it was double indemnity for the home side as sloppy defending all round was punished. And Nish demonstrating that he's well capable of using every inch of his six-foot-three frame. 3-0 Three before half-time and thoughts must have been turning to another five-goal performance. But there was a sign that Hibbs wouldn't take things lying down as Alan Cole was called into action before the break. Worrying perhaps for the management team and more of a concern would have been the manner in which Hibbs pulled a goal back. The defending not what it should be. It allowed Dean Shields a simple opportunity to give the Edinburgh side a glimmer of hope. However, there was to be no way back. Killy play leapfrog into fifth place. To the Kilmarnock.